one of the strongest human beings to ever grace this earth, five-time world's strongest man, holds the record for most strongman titles, five, made his MMA debut in 2009. By the way, shout out to the great Alan Murphy for some of these factoids. I mean, look at this guy. He's pulling a freaking truck. Now been an MMA fighter longer than a professional strongman, currently on a four-fight winning streak, Beloved in his home country of... I mean, look at these photos. Beloved in his home country of Poland. Absolute legend. 45 and still going strong. On a winning streak, like I said. Fighting as a heavyweight. You better believe it. I mean, look at those thighs. A legend. And what a great honor it is to have him on the program. He returns to action this Saturday. There's no UFC. There's no Bellator. There's no PFL. It's only KSW 70. And you can watch it on kswtv.com at the Atlas Arena in Łódź, Poland. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Michal Materla, the former KSW middleweight champion, moving up to heavyweight to fight the living legend, the GOAT, as far as strongman is concerned, Marius Pujanowski. And he is kind enough to join us. I mean, this is royalty right here. Wow. Marius, my friend, how are you? Hi, hey, I'm good. Okay. Wow, look at this microphone you got set up here. And uh, this is Dominic. Hello, nice to nice to see you again, Ariel. Yes. My English is not perfect. Dominic helped me. Okay, this is great. Well, what an honor. I, I mean, when they told me that I could speak to Marius Pujanowski, and I'm saying your name correctly, right? Not Pujanowski, it's Pujanowski. Uh, Pujanowski is okay, yes. Yes, I said, wow, this would be a huge honor for me. I've been watching you for so many years, and you're a legend, strongman, five-time champion, now doing MMA longer than you did strongman. So I'll, I'll start there. Are you surprised that you have stuck around with MMA as long as you have? You've been doing this now for over a decade. And I, and I think when you started, people weren't sure how long you would stick around. Are you surprised? Have you exceeded your own expectations in the sport? Czy nie jesteś zaskoczony, że tak długo ci się udało być w tym sporcie i czy to nie jest tak, że nawet tobie się nie, nawet ty sobie nie wyobrażałeś, że tak długo będzie, że czy nie jesteś sam zaskoczony tym, że ci się udało tak długo zostać w tym sporcie? Um, uh, 15 years ago, when I go to MMA, uh, many times think, maybe I go to two, three fights, maybe maximum. Okay, uh, when I talking with the boss uh, from K KSW, no, hey guys, maybe I fight only two times, maximum two times, because only for fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, first first time, fast win. Second time, mm, it's a good, uh, good opponent, uh, uh, Kawaguchi. He has 12, uh, 12 win, one loss. Yeah. Mm, it's hard for me. It's okay. Uh, when finish uh, second fight with, uh, with Kawaguchi, uh, second round, hey, guys, you finish? Uh, my, my trainer, Mariusz, już finish. A uh, when is finish? Because uh, uh, I don't have condition and uh, my head is uh, not thing. Uh, finish, hey guys, because uh, I don't have condition, no, nothing. Hey, Mariusz, finish. Uh, come back, come back. What? You finish? Yes. Uh, later go to US. Uh, fight with Sylvia. Oh, I am crazy, crazy. <laughs> uh, uh, Sylvia, show me first time, what is this MMA? Mm. Uh, after this fight with, with Sylvia, uh, uh, when I back to Poland, uh, I told to my friend, never beat me next guy. And go to hard training slowly, slowly, step by step, slowly, slowly, and go to heavy training. and. Now I am 13 years in MMA. Uh, before, no, oh, two, two fights finish. Crazy. What a story. Now you've been doing MMA. And by the way, great English. We don't even need Dominic here. The guy's amazing. My English is not perfect. It's, it's, just, I'm here just to take yes. some fame from him. Of course, of course. Um, so at this point, not only are you still fighting, you're on a winning streak. Uh, you're in your mid 40s, 45. You're still selling out events. You're still a star. And that last fight that you just had against Bombardier, that was something else. What a knockout it was. As far as all your finishes is concerned, because how big that man was, is that one of your favorites? To jest jedna z twoich ulubionych walk i ulubionych wygranych ze względu na to, jak on był wielkim gościem, jaki to był potężny nokaut. Mm. Y, za, każ za, ka za każdym razem, kiedy wchodzę do... Every, every time when I go to fight, is 
big challenge. Uh, uh, all the time when I go to fight is a lot of thing. Uh, all the time is challenge, big challenge because uh, every time is new opponent is new challenge. Uh, not fun. All the time, a uh, lot of things uh, is big challenge. Jest du- duże wyzwanie za każdym Szczerwa. razem to jest. A czy z bombardierem była jakaś szczególna dla ciebie? Właśnie, że dzięki temu jak ci się udało mm. wygrać? Nie, to znaczy, to było, to było duże wyzwanie, bo nie wiedziałem na co go stać. Czy okay, to... so it was a big challenge because I had no idea what he is capable of because I didn't know how good in MMA he is. So that was special challenge for me. But every fight is a huge challenge. Every time when I step into the cage, it's always like a big challenge, and I'm always like the same. I feel always always the same pressure. Have you had to dramatically change your body, change the way your body works because? When you were doing uh, a strongman, it was all about power and pushing and this and that. But as you know, when you become an MMA fighter, cardio is a big thing. So was that something that you had to learn over time? And and did you feel like maybe early on you were a little naive about, okay, I can just go in here and fight. But now as an MMA fighter, to have this longevity, have you had to change things drastically about your body? And if so, what in order to have this long career in the sport? Uh, MMA is different sport uh, than strongman. Uh, I must everything change. Uh, my body is changed. Uh, osiem, osiem lat musiałem trenować minimum, żeby wytrzymać chociaż dwie rundy po pięć minut, więc to było przekształcenie całego ciała. Ciężka, ciężka praca. Uh, podnoszenie ciężarów MMA zupełnie inne sporty, inny wysiłek. Okay, I had to train eight years to drastically change my body and the kind of way that the, my body is functioning because like I couldn't stand five minutes and or 10 minutes for eight uh, for eight years of my training. I, I, I wasn't capable of uh, doing the whole 10 minutes uh, of like two rounds in right. MMA. So it was like, it's totally different the way lifting and, and MMA is like two, two words. Są zupełnie inne sporty. To nie ma nic wspólnego siła ze strongmana, a siła z MMA to nie ma nic wspólnego. So, so even the strength in MMA and in weightlifting is totally different. It's not like that when you can lift like uh, 300 kilograms in, in strongman doesn't mean that this strength will be also as good in, in MMA because this is different kind of strength. What would happen if they... Sorry, what would happen if they tried to get you to go back to strongman? Could you even do it based on how your body is functioning now, or do you think you wouldn't be as good as you were when you were competing over there? I, I will need like four or five years to come back to strongman. To, I, I would wow. have to change everything drastically again. Wow, that is fascinating. <laughs> Tyle samo, tyle samo lat potrzebowałem roz, rozbroić się i żeby uzbroić się od nowa, więc... Yeah, I will need the same amount of time to, to change my body again for right. strongman competition. By the way, when you were competing in strongman, what was your favorite event? I kiedy startowałeś w strongmanach, jaki był twój ulubiony, twój ulubiony wydarzenie, które? Albo yeah. kto? Event or the competi- sorry, competition? Like, oh, sorry, like uh, competition, right, competition. Yeah. Na, ze wszystkich konkurencji była tylko jedna, której nie lubiłem, a resztę wygrywałem. A Przerzucanie bali, tak zwane finger fingers, takie przerzucanie bali. Tylko okay. jednej, której nie lubiłem. I wszyscy o tym wiedzieli i specjalnie mi to wkładali. So I loved all the comp- all the competition, but one, and it was like the the the. I zawsze mi to wkładali. The 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 one when you finger, have this. Jest takie. Yeah. To takie przerzucanie bali. So you have this huge tree. To się nazywało finger fingers. Takie finger fingers is that the name or? Okay. Bali. So you have like the huge. Huge, uh, kłody drzewa yeah, na like drugą stronę. Five, five meters of a tree and you have to do góry i to, na drugą stronę, takie to, to, uh, to pull it over the some kind of stick or something. Oh, God. He hated it. He hated it. And so they always takie, put it takie. in the competition because they wanted Mariusz to lose some points. Wow. You felt they were trying to they were trying to get him to lose, he felt? 
Czy to... Dotrenowałem to i tak, zrobiłem czy... prawie jak rekord świata, jak czy... się uparłem na to. Pytać, czy to było tak, że dawali ci temu właśnie, żebyś tracił punkty? Tak. Yes, tak. Yeah, they, they tak. On... Celowo to było robione. Why? Bo nie they... było dla mnie, po prostu nie mieli dla mnie, po prostu, żebym żeby coś się działo, bo byłem zapewny, że wygrywam. Okej, okay, so they, yeah, they did it on robili. purpose because they knew that this is the only place there can be some kind of competition Żeby because I was, ze mną wygrać. I was too good in the over, over right, right, right. Uh, challenges, so there was no place to, you know, to even have some kind of rivalry. So they put it, uh, so they put it on purpose and uh, he was, uh, I, I was so motivated to be the best even in, in this one, in this competition that I almost, uh, have a record of the world in this competition wow. also. What a legend. Have they tried to get you to come back to Strongman over the years? Chcieli, ale już ja nie chcę. Uh, they tried, but I don't want. Teraz jeżdżę co tydzień na zawody i w Polsce, i do Europy jako sędzia. Okay, I'm, co tydzień I'm a referee on the competition like uh, every, every week in Poland and in Europe. Last week I was in like one of the events and I'm, a, I'm, I'm a referee ale już tylko sędzia so i'm still like involved in, in this uh, in in the in the strongman world but i don't want to be a, a competitor anymore okay ale jeszcze wchodzę na konkurencję i wygrywam huh? wchodzę yeah. czasami na konkurencję i wygrywam but na konkurencję fr- from time to time i'm took I, i'm 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 uh, trying to challenge over over competitors and I try to, to do a, a, some kind of challenges and I win from time to time. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it because you're the greatest <laughs> of all time. Dawno wygrałem nawet konkurencję z zawodnikami wszystkimi. Okay. Now, I'm not, cu- not a long time ago I won a comp- one of the competitions. Of course. Uh, now 45, you're still competing, you're still winning. How many more fights do you want to have? Nie wiem, nie zastanawiam się na tym. To po prostu sport mnie bawi. Nie zastanawiam się kiedy skończę. I'm not thinking about it right now. I just I want to do it as long as I will have fun. So right now I don't have any kind of date. I just want to do it. Mogę tego nie robić, a robię, bo po prostu mnie bawi to. I I, I could like quit in a moment anytime because I don't have to do it, but I still have fun out of it. So right. there is no right. no discussion right now. Now, here's what I'm wondering. I mean, I'm about to turn 40, Marius. I look nothing like you. What do, what do I have to eat? What do you, like, what do you eat on a, on a daily basis, Marius, to look this good at 45? I mean, you are a specimen. You're like a Greek god out there. Well, tell us, what do you eat on a daily basis? Systematycznie trenować. I co jesz na co dzień? Ja jem wszystko. Wszystko. Kuchnię polską przede wszystkim. I wszystko, czekolady. Ja wszystko jem. Okay, so you have to train a lot. That's the first thing. Sure. But when it comes to any kind of meals, I, I eat everything, mostly Polish cuisine. So you have to eat. Ale systematyczne, codzienne trenowanie yeah, od but, lat. But you have to train every day systematically for many years to look like. like Six me. days in a week, train systematic, training slowly, slowly, step by step, training in the morning, one hour, warm up. Uh, after job, one hour, one and a half, normal, slowly, systematic training, not heavy training, only systematic, slowly, normal training, wow. not, he- not hard, not heavy, systematic, slowly training. Wow. Who got you into this type of training? Like who introduced you to this lifestyle when you were, were, when you were younger? Sam, sam się po prostu nauczyłem. I, you just did it. So I, i was, I was the, the one who invited. Głowa. Nauczyłem głowę po prostu systematyczności. Yeah, I turned myself into this kind of machine. I, I just put the pressure on myself to do it like this every day to, to be systematical and to do it. Wow. Uh, Why though? Yes. Czy głowa też, czy jest mróz 20 stopni, ja zawsze wstaję w pół do szóstej rano, biegam, ciężarki, rozciąganie, brzuch. Od 15 lat to robię, kiedy przyszedłem do MMA. So there is no no matter what kind of weather there is i always every day i wake up at 5:30 half past 5 right yeah, yeah, yeah. in the morning mm-hmm. i go to train and i do it for 15 years like the, f- f- from the beginning when i decided to go to mma i do it every day for the 15 years but in terms of like the bodybuilding and all that stuff the weightlifting why did you start to get so into it like what inspired you to devote your life to this żeby poświęcić życie na przykład wcześniej do tego, do podnoszenia ciężarów, żeby w ogóle prowadzić takie sportowe Będąc życie. Będąc małym chłopcem, ojciec we mnie to zaszczepił. Ja miałem wtedy 8-9 lat. Ojciec przypuszcza. Tak myślę, że to po prostu widziałem, co ojciec robi i to chyba w głowie mi zostało. So when I was like about 8-9 years old, my father like 
showed me that that this kind of way of był, this this lifestyle because he used, he used to be a weightlifter ah. so i i don't know if like he told me that it's a good thing to do but i think that i just saw him doing that and i told to myself deep inside that this is the kind of way i want to live so i just like będąc małym chłopcem pięciolatkiem sześciolatkiem ja widziałem jak ojciec to robi even I if, chyba to zostało tak even nie wiem, tak mi się wydaje so i don't know because i'm always like this but i think that when i was five six years old i was watching my dad doing this kind of style living this lifestyle and i decided that this is this is also my way i i read a few years ago that you said you don't follow any kind of particular diet you never have you eat anything you want whenever you want even junk food and things like that still at this age you do this i'm <laughs> że nie masz konkretnej diety, tylko nie jesz wszystko, co nawet jesz diety. świństwa czy kolady. Nie mam jesz. żadnej diety. Potrafię zjeść 30 czekolad, dwa kartony mleka. I, no, nie ma problemu dla mnie. 2-3 kilo lodów zjeść potrafię sobie leżąc w łóżku i nie mam problemu z brzuchem i cały czas po prostu kostka na brzuchu jest. Okay, so I nie don't wiem, have any kind of particular diet. I just, I eat everything. I can eat 30 bars of chocolate and drink two cartons of milk. <laughs> Then I have I can eat like three kilo, three uh, five pounds of of uh, ice creams in the in bed. It's like I, I eat whenever I want, uh, whatever I want, whenever I want, and I always have this like beautiful uh, muscles on my body. It's incredible. By the way, nigdy nie miałem żadnej diety. Nigdy. I never had any kind of diet. Incredible. Nigdy. Okay, I won't. I, I will do the same. No diet for me. Uh, do you still fly helicopters? Czy, czy cały czas latasz helikopterami? And where do you go with the helicopters? Mam w swoim hangarze z tym helikopterem. Pytał, czy, czy gdzieś lat, czy, gdzie latasz? Jak po latasz? całej Polsce, latam po całej Europie, mogę latać helikopterami. Yeah, I have, latam cały czas helikopterami. Po I Polsce. have a few helicopters in my warehouse and I, I flew all over the, the Poland through by helicopters. <laughs> do, you, do you like to be, I mean, you're, you're world renowned, but you're obviously very famous in Poland. Do you like being a celebrity or do you prefer kind of I know you have a farm you like to grow thing do 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 you prefer to be out of the public eye you emerge when you fight but then you go back to sort of seclusion and no one recognizes you No że masz swoje sprawy że masz lubisz być rolnikiem i tak dalej no ale też jesteś strasznie popularny jesteś olbrzymim celebrytą w Polsce w znaczeniu tym że jesteś bardzo popularny mm-hmm. nie że się na ściankach wodzisz to czy lubisz e, właśnie to że jesteś tak popularny czy chciałbyś troszeczkę mieć więcej spokoju Ja mam cały czas spokój bo żyję sobie na wsi Okay. Yeah, so I, I wychodzę tylko jak muszę i jak Federacja KSW mnie zmusza. O. <laughs> so I don't have a problem with like being popular because I live countryside and like I'm I'm living there by myself. I don't have a lot of people nearby, so it's basically I'm I living my I'm living my life and I always live it. Uh, this like calm place when I have to, when I have any kind of uh, interviews, when I do this kind of stuff ahead of KSW events. But most of the time I just live by myself uh, in my ho- home and I do whatever I want there. By the way, your whole career, uh, what is it? 16 wins, seven losses, one a no contest. Uh, every fight except for one was in KSW. Uh, all of the, the vast majority in Poland UK here and there, but there was the one in the US, Moosin, Tim Sylvia. Were you ever uh, approached about fighting for one of the major US promotions over the years, UFC in particular, there's Bellator, there's been Strikeforce, Elite. Have any of these promotions ever tried to get you to come over to fight for them? KSW mi się pracuje a czy one, bardzo. A czy one kiedykolwiek się do ciebie odzywały? Odzywałem, mam dużo propozycji z, z Zachodu, z Niemiec, z różnych krajów. Ale KSW spełnia moje wszystkie wymagania finansowe. Okay, so I never thought to to work for other organization, but I through years I had a lot of uh, propositions from a lot of uh, other Rzadko companies. Federacja może sprostać moim wymaganiom, a but, KSW naprawdę sprostało. But there is no a lot of uh, companies which can organization organizations which can pay me the ah. amount of money I want, but KSW da, like KSW does it. Uh, so I, there, there's no discussion. I, I, I'm really good with KSW. Okay, Pierwszym yeah. Pierwszym razem, żeby mnie ściągnąć, musieli się zapożyczyć, żebym mógł wystąpić u nich. So, I to jest prawda. So KSW... Włada, musieli się włodarze zapożyczyć u różnych ludzi, żebym chciał przyjść do nich. So ahead of my KSW debut, uh, KSW owners had to uh, take a loan to pay my to pay my fee, but 
they did it and right now they are <laughs> they, they have story, yeah. and it's a true story so they they uh, they took a loan to to pay for my first fight but then there was no uh, never a problem to do it who who was the one that convinced you to go from strongman to MMA was there someone in particular that said hey you should try this or was it your idea czy była ktoś jakaś osoba która cię do tego zmotywowała czy to był po prostu mój pomysł po prostu miała być to chwilowa zabawa Yeah, that was my idea. I just wanted to have fun for a for a while, for a few fights, but you, you see what, uh, what to, the outcome. Miał być to dwie walki tylko. It's supposed to be like two fights. Yeah, you know, amazing. I mean, yeah. Do you follow the Polish fighters that are fighting here in the U.S., like uh, Joanny Andrzejczyk, Jan Bachowicz? A lot of them came from, uh, you know, KSW. Do you follow them as well? Yeah, yeah, of course. I follow my fellow countrymen, in, okay. like fighters from Poland. And and this fight, what did you make of it when they offered it to you? Um, Michal Materla is a middleweight, former middleweight champion, going up to heavyweight to fight you. So now it's kind of different than your last fight where the Bombardier guy was gigantic. Did you like this idea? Because now you're the bigger dude. And uh, one might say that, you know, you should uh, you should run through him, although he's a lot more, I guess, accomplished in his career. So what did you think about uh, this this idea when it was proposed to you? z drugiej strony to jest człowiek, który ma bardzo dużo osiągnięcia w tej swojej kategorii, ogólnie jest bardzo tytułowanym zawodnikiem, więc co, co ty w ogóle uważasz o tym? Na każdym to... poziomie jest to duże wyzwanie. Bombardier był ode mnie cięższy o prawie 40 kg, a tu Michał będzie ode mnie lżejszy o 10 kg, bo Michał ważył będzie, różnica między mną a Michałem będzie 10-12 kg, nieduża. Między Bombardierem a mną była dużo większa różnica. So... Both of these fights are really big, are really big challenges. Like Bombardier was heavier. 40 kg. Tak, Bombardier 155, yeah. 115. So Bombardier was heavier by 40 kilograms, which is about 80 pounds, I think, mm -hmm. 90 pounds, mm -hmm. something like this. So uh, Micha will also be a big challenge because th there will be only about 12 kilograms uh, difference between us because I will be about uh, mm -hmm. 112. So it's about... 250 pounds and he will be around 100 kilograms so it's, so it's about 210 pounds right so it's everything can happen it's like it's mma you know it's basically he can he can win i can win it's everything is possible considering his resume if you win on saturday would you say it will be the most impressive win of your career na to, jakie ma dokonania, jakie ma CV Michał Matela, czy jeśli z nim wygrasz, to to będzie twoje największe zwycięstwo, tak na papierze, najbardziej, najlepszy zawodnik, jakiego pokonałeś? Nie traktuję to przez pryzmat taki. Po prostu jest to nowe wyzwanie. Ok, so this is not the way I look uh, uh, on fights. It's, it's, I'm not making any kind of, com, com, any kind of uh, compares, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, I just treat each fight as a challenge, and this is how I approach fights. Okay, fair enough. I think it would be very impressive. You're the underdog, by the way, but I'm I'm going with you, Marius. Michał ma więcej do stracenia niż ja. Okay, so Michał has more to lose than I, so... More pressure on him, right? Ja, ja wychodzę, mam dobrą walkę dać, a Michał musi wygrać. Yeah, so Michał has to win. And I only ha have to go there and have fun, and I I have to uh, show a good fight and and show people what I'm capable of. But Michal has to win this fight. I love it. Okay, one last thing before I let you go: Is there anything left in your athletic career that you haven't accomplished yet that you would love to accomplish? That is really something that you want to make happen in the next few years. Jako sportowiec jestem spełniony pod każdym względem. Chcę tylko być zdrowy i bez kontuzji i nic mi więcej do szczęścia nie potrzebne. So as a fighter I accomplish as a athlete I accomplish everything. I don't have anything more to prove. I don't have anything more to to gain. It's mam basically... karierę sportową fajną, mam pieniądze dobre i teraz tylko chcę być zdrowy i sportem się bawić. I had a good career. I have, trenować, oczywiście. I have a lot of money so I want to have fun. I want to be healthy and I want to train hard because this is what I like. Do you, do you have any children? Czy masz dzieci? Muszę poszukać. So I will translate it that way. So none which I'm that you, which I know that you, about. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Może tak. Może po, powiem to w ten Let sposób, co powiem. Jestem spełniony jako facet pod każdym względem. Okay. So o, I, a jak jest inteligentny, zrozumie. 
so I, I also, I'm also, uh, I, I also accomplish everything as a man, not only as an athlete, as a man. So if you will get it between the lines. Okay, Marius, well done to you. I was just wondering if you had any kids that wanted to follow in your footsteps to be strong man, to be fighter. Not now, but who knows? Maybe who knows? in the future I will have someone like this. Now I don't have time for, for this kind of activities. Activities, yes, okay. Uh, maybe some other activities. Marius, you're the man. Let's see it. Let's see. Let's get a let's get a thing, Marius. Here, let's see. Oh my gosh, look at that. You can't even fit it. Let's see. How how's how, how are the abs looking? How are the abs? Let's see them. How are the abs? Look at that. No, what about here? Right here. Oh my God. Lift the shirt for us, Marius. Lift the shirt for us. Bigger than my head. <laughs> oh my gosh, Marius. You're a beast. Well done, my friend. Thank you so much. Legend. Good luck. Uh, a real honor to have you on this show. And I wish you the best on Saturday and the rest of your career. And Dominic, great job. Once again, really appreciate your time. KSW70 in Woods. Is it Woods, Poland? Am I pronouncing it correctly? Yes, Woods. Yes, great. Yes, you know, great. Pronunciation is on point, my friend. Can I tell you one of my dreams? I want to attend a KSW event. I want to be there when Marius fights one of these days in the next couple of years. This is one of my bucket list things. I've never had a chance to go to a KSW event. I would like to be there. You are always invited. Thank you. Marius, I can come when you fight. I would like to be at one of your fights. Yes? Why not? Come. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Thank we you. We can guys. arrange the thing that you will give a trophy to a winner of. Wow! Of I could be in the cage and give a trophy. Yeah. Okay. No the problem. I would love to do it. Thank you it's guys. It's on me. Just. I appreciate it. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. All the best. Take care. Thank you. Marius Pujanowski, the uh, legend. Pujanowski. Wow! Did you see those arms? Wow! What a freaking legend! What a legend! I mean that guy.